you ever heard of a bell siphon before? It's something that we use in hydroponic and aquaponic gardening, and they're really cool, and I wanna show you what they do. Now, you're probably already familiar with siphoning. This is an aquarium vacuum, for example, which is a common example of a siphon where you can transfer water from one thing to another with a hose, just like this. So I'm transferring water out of this tank onto the ground or into a bucket or whatever you need. But once the siphon starts, it won't stop until you remove the hose end. Stop. Now a bell siphon is different than your typical siphon because it actually initiates by itself and turns off by itself. And why is that useful? Well, in here we're setting up an aquaponics system and aquaponics just means that we are growing plants in water and we're using fish waste to fertilize those plants. This is going to be our fish tank and this is going to be the grow bed where the plants will be. Now this grow bed is going to be set up as a flood and drain or ebb and flow is another way of putting that. So this is going to have gravel in here and plants in here, but what we want is this water to fill up and then drain out and then fill back up again. And that's achieved by using this bell siphon. Let me show you how it works. The water will be constantly pumped out of the fish tank through that hose and into this grow bed right there. Now let's take a look at what's underneath this guard because that's where the actual bell siphon lives. The bell siphon is made up of a bell, which in this case is just a PVC pipe that's closed off on top, and it has these cutouts down at the bottom. Under the bell is a stand pipe, so that's going to be where the water actually goes out into the drain. Now right now, the water is below the top of the stand pipe, but once it reaches the top, it will start draining into our fish tank down below. When the bell is off of it, that's all it's going to do. It, the water level will remain at the top of the standpipe and constantly drain down below. But the magic happens when we actually put this bell on top. Now with the bell on top, once that water level reaches the top of the standpipe inside, it will actually initiate a siphon. So you will see that this water will go up into the lid. It'll start creating a vortex inside of there as it suctions the water but it suctions it from way down here where these inlets are at the bottom of the bell. And it will continue to suck all of the water out of this grow bed until the water level drops below those inlets, which will allow air inside the bell, which then breaks the siphon and starts the cycle over. So what that will do is over time, as the water is being pumped into the grow beds, the water in here will be dropping while it increases the level in the grow bed. And then once the siphon begins, it will drop the water level in the grow bed and increase it back in the fish tank. And we'll just see this ebb and flow, flood and drain happening all throughout the day. And this is super useful for the health of your plants and the beneficial bacteria that are living in that grow bed because instead of being constantly submerged in water, that ebb and flow allows oxygen to get down to the roots and to the lower parts of the gravel. So stay tuned for updates for this really cool system that we're putting in inside of our tropical greenhouse.